It appears that the Pagula family has hit the jackpot, and New York State, along with Erie County, will be putting up money, about $850 million, into a new stadium for the Pagula-owned Buffalo Bills National Football League franchise. The new stadium could open in 2026, and the team would be locked into a lease that would end in 2055. The state, Erie County, the NFL, and Bill's ownership wanted to get an agreement done by the time the New York State budget was due, which is on April 1st. New York Governor Kathy Hochul thinks the stadium will be paid off in 22 years. The Pagula family wants a stadium that seats somewhere between 60 and 62,000 people, with room for up to 5,000 more customers on the standing room only party deck. Buffalo is a small regional market that includes Rochester and Syracuse in New York, along with Toronto and Hamilton in Ontario, Canada. The Pagulas need state stadium funding because the area doesn't have a taxable base with big money that could help with stadium costs. In 1959, when Ralph Wilson purchased an American Football League franchise and placed it in Buffalo instead of Miami, the area had heavy industry, steel mills, flower plants, and a major port. Wilson only paid $25,000 for the business. The Pagula Bills lease to use the Orchard Park facility ends in 2023. Former Governor Andrew Cuomo was in the Bills' ownership camp in 2012 with a new lease agreement, which included renovations and taxpayers handing over a couple million dollars annually to Bill's owners. The $850 million public subsidy is the largest public money offering on record for a stadium. Those numbers are always murky because of how municipalities pay down the debt on venues. Nevada put up $750 million for a Las Vegas NFL stadium to house Mark Davis's Raiders. The money train keeps going. I'm Evan Wiener.